Hi, Nico Gonzalez here, educator for Balanced Body, owner of Fitness Physiques in Cincinnati, Ohio, and my online platform, Vital Online Wellness. Today, I present to you the roll down bar on the tower. It's an amazing piece because not only are you gonna get spinal articulation, mobility in your spine, we're gonna come to kneeling position and also do stretches in the front of your hips, which is super important, especially if you sit all day. You know those type of clients who like wanna work out, but like, why are my hips so tight? We have exercises for you. Additionally, because you know not everything happens in the sagittal plane, we will be facing the side and doing a lot of lateral movement to engage those obliques and release the lower back. Let's get ready to roll down. Okay, I'm gonna have Claudia reach towards the roll down bar with the hands on the outside of the springs. At first, she might feel that the short yellows attached to the top might be protracting her shoulder. Show that for a moment, mm-hmm. So she's gonna have that connection into her scaps to find that stability here, right? So this is already finding control. She's up on her sit bones, she has her scaps, and she's using her heels, reach your heels far away to lengthen the back of the legs. From here, we're gonna go right into our wonderful roll down. Take an in-breath. As you exhale, start at the bottom, tuck the pelvis, round the spine, reach the lower back, reach the ribs, shoulders, and then the head is last. She's gonna take an inhale, sniff at the bottom, and as she exhales, curl the head, neck, and chest, coming forward, and find your best statue-esque position at the top. She gets to do three more of these. She's gonna start at the bottom. Ah, <sighs> reaching the heels far, far, far away. In-breath here. Curl the head, neck, and chest up, rolling over the imaginary beach ball, and then restacking to come in again. Sink and roll. Ah, oh, what a wonderful way to massage the back while connecting into the abdominals. Because this is abdominal exercise, we are in flexion. Come all the way back down. This time, stay here on four. From here, keeping this core super tight and connected, keeping your legs right where they are. Bring the bar into your chest and slightly do extension of the upper body for three. Release it back down, do that again. And two, working to stay connected but extending through the thoracic area. On this next one, she's gonna keep the bar towards her chest, float the body all the way up into extension. Ah yes, arch and curl, reach the arms, let's put that together. From the bottom, roll the body one piece at a time. Inhale, bring the bar towards the sternum and she's gonna lift like she's floating in air. Let's do two more of these. Come back into the center, bar towards the sternum, and then lift. Notice how her low back is not in full extension. She has really good control through her center, not letting the lumbar spine go into extension, but more thoracic and cervical if it's available to you. And then return back down, looking fantastic. From here, let's do a little water skier. Let's take one hand the center of the bar, Okay, and the front hand is free. She's gonna roll down as she rotates. Exhale, rotate laterally all the way down into the center. And now we're gonna do that arch and curl from here. Beam the chest and come up into the center as you come all the way up. Exhale, let's roll back down. We'll do three more on this side. Meanwhile, back at the base. Her pelvis is equally weighted on each side. I did not allow her to cross a leg, so she's working extra hard not to lift one leg more than the other. Give me one more here. All the way down you go. Excellent. And a lift. Now, on this next one, we're gonna do little mini lifts. So all the way down, stay here, mini arches for three. Here's one, a little bigger, here's two. And your biggest one, come all the way up, please and rest. Fantastic, let's repeat all that on the other side. And we're gonna see if there's a different side of Claudia, right? Take a breath here, as she exhales, she's gonna rotate her torso towards me, reach the arm far, far, far away. From the center, beam the chest up to come up right in the center evenly. Do that again. Exhale, she's gonna rotate, rotate, reach, and up. Notice her sequential articulation. She is taking her time on the way down, and the way up. I don't see any bumps in the road. On this next one, we'll do our three mini arches coming back down, loving how the opposite leg is not lifting. And give me three little lifts. Here's a small, a little bigger, 
like a little shoestring on her chest and she's gonna come all the way up and return. Looking so good. Release this bar. Fantastic. Let's come to kneeling facing the same roll down bar. Now, she can come further away from the tower to give herself a little bit more support so she could ride the springs. We don't like to say that, but if you need the support of the springs, it's available to you if you want to move back. From here, let's work on a little thigh stretch. Bring the bar towards your sternum like you did before in arch and curl. Now, imagine a big beach ball behind you. Go up and over the beach ball. Open, and she's gonna lead with her pelvis to come forward, then torso, then head as last. Reach the bar for release. Let's do that again. Bar in, in breath to come up and over. Nice, and she's gonna squeeze from the back of her glute to press to articulate on the way up. Do that again, up and over. Notice there's articulation in both directions if it's available to you. Once more, up and over. And a big exhale to press from the hips and release all of that out, fantastic. So what I'd love to do is because we do not just live in the sagittal plane, we work in rotation. So that's exactly what she's gonna do. Same exercise in a rotated fashion. So take one arm higher than the other. She's gonna take her back shoulder towards her hip in a sideline, side flex position. Now, give me thigh stretch here. Over, her opposite hip leads the way on the way up and return switch sides every time now. She's gonna rotate towards you and now her opposite hip is gonna lift to lead the way to open up, alternate sides. She's gonna open up her hip flexors, right? That psoas, that iliacus, and of course, the quad muscles for stretching. One more on this side. And lovely, release it. Nice work, nice work. Well, as I mentioned, not everything happens in the sagittal plane, right? We did a little side. I would like to integrate that a little bit more. Please come to kneeling facing the front, okay? What I'd like to do is challenge this kneeling position by going into a wide stance, okay? So her leg that's closest to the tower is going to step onto the carriage. Now, if you are taller, you're welcome to move back so that you have more room. Please take the roll down bar in both hands over the crown of your head. Your elbows are nice and wide. I want you to feel your statuesque position. Meanwhile, connecting through your legs in the back as if there was a ring on the inner thigh, squeezing in. That's gonna be your foundational move. Now show me a little side bend. Exhale, away from the tower, and inhale to come back in. Yes, remember, it's all about keeping the foundation stable. She's working from the back. She's working from the side and from the medial aspect while her obliques, right, are working to go side to side. Give me one more here. And my favorite, lateral rib translation. So if I place my hands, okay, on her side, she's gonna press her ribs over and then the upper body's gonna follow and then she's gonna shift towards the tower. So ribs, torso, ribs, torso, ribs, torso. And it may not be as big for you at first if this is the first time you're doing this. So small is okay, right? And as you build that movement, you might have bigger range, okay? And then come back in, release that. Good news, everything happens on the other side. So let's turn around to the other side. The leg that's closest to the tower is gonna step forward in a wide position. I also call that my Captain Morgan stance, okay? If you're taller, you can step back. Let's place both hands on the roll down bar. So remember, and I didn't mention this before, and Claudia did a great job of not doing this, is we're not using our arms to move, right? We're working from the center to make that happen. So on your next exhale, show me side bend away from the tower, okay? And I always like to say this, we do both sides for two reasons. One, to be even, but also to see if there's a different setup, right? Your body may, might, may not move the same way on this side. So it's really important to listen and feel if there's any changes here. Are there any changes of where the knee is as we go? Give me one more here, and then return back to the stack position. When you're ready with me, we're gonna do that lateral rib translation, rib, torso and exhale to return it in. Find that inhale for length, 
and exhale. We'll do four more of these. I'm gonna check in here just to make sure she's grounded, feeling the knee over the ankle, uh-huh. And she's connecting in the front of her body along with the sides of her body. Mm -hmm. Give me one more time here and return. Great job. And there you have it, the roll down bar series on the tower.